It's a win-win. No, it's, yeah, way less tragic. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, folks. Adam was just letting us know that he, uh... He just pissed. He pissed his pants. <laughs> I peed my pants. I have, a, like, a sensory return to Again. my youth when I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks, dude. What do you think it was? Um, I remember this time that my dad watched me get beat up by girls at mm -hmm. the swimming pool. Nice. Did that really happen? It did happen once. Yeah. <laughs> we were at our, we used to live in an apartment complex. We lived in an apartment complex and they had a pool there and a bunch of, uh, hell yeah. I mean, I don't want to make a class judgment, but white trash girls were throwing me in the pool. Damn, and, dude. uh, and he was just sitting there watching it, and he's like, you "I missed the story." So this was two weeks ago, and a bunch no. of <laughs> yeah, they were they the whole family no. went to, to the they pool were to blow off they were steam. like seniors in high school, and I was like uh, in sixth grade. But yes, no. I was being bullied by one. Actually, I wish it would happen. Is this happened last week, and they were four years old? No, this didn't happen last week. Yeah. There's a shutdown order. We wouldn't be at the pool. We're responsible citizens. Yeah, but they have testing at your yeah, pool. You're wearing a shirt. Yeah, dude. I had I'm to wearing a shirt. Today. I I only literally I brought yeah, like that's... three shirts because I thought I was going to be here for a week. So you be asking you that question, Adam. <laughs> what? Oh, why would you be asking? Me that I question. thought Nick meant I'm wearing a collared shirt. <laughs> yes, I've been shirtless every time we've done this. Okay, for the last... I'm sorry. I'm mm -hmm. self. You're just on edge because we we've exposed the fact that you were recently beat up by children and you called I them white trash. Recently. It was when I was a kid. Oh. I think at that point we were probably also. In that socioeconomic bracket, but whatever. Um, I, keep forgetting, I keep forgetting to refill my pipe before we start this shit, dude. I'm annoyed. You got the pipe. So I got the green juice going. I got, I'm getting the, yeah. well, I, got a, I got a green pipe. Mm -hmm. It is a really nice color green. That's my favorite color. A dark yeah, green. This is nice. This is why I started smoking a pipe again because I saw this pipe and I was like, "Fuck, I gotta have that." A a hunter pipe. green. Yeah, I love you. Anybody that's never been to a tobacconist, mm -hmm. go there. <laughs> Because it's like a style of customer service that hasn't existed for like a hundred yes. years. Yes, a guy in it's a fucking place. Yep. It's a, yeah, it's a guy in a suit and a hat that, though. Also, that just can't yes. wait to make you a gentleman. <laughs> you know, yes. like what what Stanley Tucci does is a gay man for women. Yes, these these guys are like you know, they're all yeah. Andres, but not a not a hint of like you know trying that that none none of that like they're neutered sexually. They're not trying to make you cool. They're trying to make you a gentleman. A gentleman. And they're, there's, class, you know, they're classic men, Jidenna style. They're kind of Jidenna style, but there's no flourish to it. You know, I mean, it's <laughs> absolutely like, not. Swag. It's kinda, yeah, they're like, um, they're like Albert, I guess. Like fucking, you know. Like, Albert right, who? Can we have we pick out a uh, uh, a pipe, Master Wine? Alfred. Oh, Alfred. 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 Yeah. Yes, they're there to serve. Yeah, and they're so excited that somebody wants to get into pipes. You know, because oh, like, if you're under you... 60 years old and you go in there, dude, they're mm -hmm. fucking thrilled. Yeah, I, I, I went in there one time and there was a guy or well, it was this time to get this thing. And there was a guy just staring at the window, complaining about immigrants, smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are places. That's 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 the kind of place you're getting there. It's a safe mm -hmm. space. Have you been? A, I watched uh, there's like a bunch of cigar lounges in bed -Stuy and. I didn't. I there's, tried to watch us. There's one of them. There's, there's one on Tompkins. Boy, yeah, it's on Tompkins. Too. I went there once to watch a Sunday night football game because I I didn't have TV, mm -hmm. and uh, it was pretty fun hanging out with those guys. <laughs> they had some good opinions. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure but, they appreciate you being there too. Yeah, they they seem to taking, taking pictures of them. I didn't take pictures. Your of flash them. kept I going off by accident. Yeah. You're like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Nick literally looks like that cartoon. Joshua he does. Joshua he looks like that cartoon of the Jew. Joshua and Benjamin, Especially with the beard. See, you have to see these <laughs> I saw the other day. No. <laughs> Trying to enjoy their life. I saw a bunch of <laughs> I was with I was with <laughs> two non Jews, one of whom was actually black, but wow. actually now so. you're counting. Yes, I was. If I'm now in that quota, no, I was. I was. You know, it's not my space. Mm -hmm. it still I got you. Nice. I got you, brother. Um, it still tastes nice, even though there's no. You know, I can't get any. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe I should start smoking cigars, dude. And dude, you should get it in a pipe. I'm telling. It's different. It's a much different taste. It's like yeah. a lot nicer. Yeah. 
I might, dude, because I'm I haven't smoked weed and I'm getting fucking bored. I want to start doing drugs. I haven't drank. I haven't smoked weed. I tried. I tried doing weed on 420. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. It's pathetic. Yeah, you're it's just pathetic. getting high. No, getting high I had an edible at night, and then I was just alone in bed, being like, "Everyone in your life hates you. Yep. You're a terrible person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll never see your friends again. That, that kind of your thing. mind to the truth." Yeah, yeah, no lies detected. Open my third yeah. eye, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you see God's truth. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, dude, I smoked and... weed and God spoke to me. Yeah. How come no one ever says that with the bad trips? That's true. You know, you're right. Like, oh yeah, I had a great trip. I met God. It's like, yeah, I had a really bad one. I met God, and he confirmed that I'm just a fucking narcissist doing drugs. I'm a piece of shit. Life. No one will love me. Having, my dick is wrong. Right, having early teenage experiences with drugs up until age forty. <laughs> I used to be so good at weed, man. I yeah. really back in my day, I used to be great at it. Mm-hmm. But I just completely lost it. Yeah. I can't uh I think I don't know. If I start smoking weed, it's really game over because I'm barely doing anything right now anyway. If I smoke weed, it's just gonna be like just watching four I movies. Tried, a couple months ago I tried to get back into it and I bought a bong at Chelsea Market. Salute bought, for that. Yeah, yeah. I bought a yeah. bong, but it's just I can't. It's just I get too faded, man. I can't do it. Damn. That's a weird Chelsea market purchase. I know. Yeah. I was. I was. I thought it was funny that they had a bong yeah. store. They, but it's Chelsea like, markets. Chelsea markets where you go to get like a fuck Trump bamboo steamer. Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> yes. or to have a meeting at Google I in the a, cafeteria. A, Nan- a Nancy Pelosi oven mitt for a baby. <laughs> yes, so absolutely. Really more that you go to Chelsea market, you can get that. My friend was telling me he my in DC the foodie was telling me a couple months ago when he had a kid they have a baby store in DC that's just like she persisted onesies hell yeah and dude. like I mean DC DC is the absolute fucking worst for that dude absolute worst have you yeah. been to DC since Trump won yeah walking I think around we're... it's it's I mean that city was already like pushing it and now it's like fucking completely over the edge when I saw the DTLR became a soul cycle that was. Uh... <laughs> U Street, U Street took a big hit that day, brother. Dude. Yeah, I mean, Damn. I remember there was like there was some store like one of those like apothecary fucking mason jar light bulb stores in yeah. Pet, in Petworth, and this was already I don't know what. Eight yeah, that must have been twenty twelve. Yeah, they got it early, and they they had their stuff. Edison bulbs. Yeah, they had stuff that that like you know shirts like for babies that say "I am Petworth." Oh like, my god! Like literally, that you are older than the gentrification in this fucking neighborhood. <laughs> I am the child of my grandfather. Did buy my dad a house yeah. in a neighborhood that black yeah. people used to live in up until ten years ago. You can still smell the exhaust fumes from the U-Haul from the black family that had to move to PG County. <laughs> Was, I, it could not be any less you, <laughs> you stupid fucking baby. <laughs> I would love to just tell that Fuck baby, that baby say, give that dude. baby my, a piece yeah. of my a piece you're of ignoring my its dad. You're like, yeah. Fuck you, who the fuck, fuck the do you think you are? How dare you? The guy's yeah. like, Fuck off. He's like, I'm not, this is not between, this is between me and the baby, pal, sir. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> You put the shirt on him because you wanted him to experience it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. That baby's not even going to live to see Pat. Like, he's not going to remember Petworth. The, that baby's parents are moving out and renting that to fucking, fucking losers. And then going to fucking, I don't know, back to fucking Alexandria. Chevy Chase. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was- I was in D.C. somewhat recently. I'm trying to. There was a handful of like really obnoxious things that I heard and Mm -hmm. saw, and it was too much. It was overwhelming. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I walked past a group of people, and they were saying something about there was like it's the opening was there was a yoga instructor, and they were like doing something about not assuming people's pronouns and how it was really cool actually. I like. I just like there was all of these things that, (laughs) and then they go. They're just they going to do PR for fucking a missile company, right? Like they're right. they're yeah. they work their a lobby. Twitter account yeah. for fucking <laughs> yeah. Suppose like... suppose like how like uh fucking mm. their gender yeah they're like uh ex- they accept yeah. all different genders. This was actually they, I, they work, I work for a um a, a, a nonprofit that accuses victims of sexual assault of being a Russian bots. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just for our company. Dude. God yeah, damn, DC for... sucks so much, right. cock. No, I, I wish there's, I mean, there's like fuck Trump stickers everywhere and fucking, mm-hmm. like, just imagine, like, you're, like, you're doing micro Banksy graffiti in 2020. Hell yes. Yeah. They, dude, they just found out about Banksy. Dude, those last... people love Banksy. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I saw a really good uh, t shirt last time I was there, which uh, it was a, like a, you know, like Rosie the Riveter looking ass bitch uh, wearing a any responsible adult 2020 shirt. Mm. Just, just like brutal. <laughs> 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 any responsible. <laughs> They are yeah. definitely the brunch. If Hillary won, we'd be a brunch ass motherfucker. That's the most. If Hillary won, we'd be a brunch right now, ass That's down, the, crying the whole, at the Javits Center type bitch. Yeah. The whole city right now is on one group Zoom meeting, having brunch and looking out their window, or looking for neighbors to call the police on. For not yeah. <laughs> They really all, all they all cannot wait to send somebody to jail for not social distancing. <laughs> it's a golden age for snitching these days. Yeah. It must be nice, Adam. Do you feel good about that? Mm-hmm. No, I haven't snitched once. I've been doing my part. <laughs> I looked at all it took was a virus to get like anybody even remotely to the left of center to be against the idea of like freedom in its entirety. <laughs> like any anything revolving like people are like, we want liberty, and people are like, Why are you racist? <laughs> just the entire concept is just gone. I yeah, mean, you should be calling the police on people. Nobody's even like. I mean, there's people that inst- like understand instinctually that it's wrong, but they're not saying anything. Yeah, you know. Whereas the De Blasio can be like, you should call the police on people violating. If children are social dis are not social distancing, you should call the police on them. Yeah, mm-hmm. and now reasonable people are in a position where they have to be like, well, he's wrong, but. Yeah, you can't. You, know, you, sh- you should call the police on those children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't be fucking snitching, man. Yeah. It stops snitching, Carmelo Anthony. You know what I'm saying? I That's would never me. talk to the pol- police. Never, dude. Absolutely. I never not. have. Have you never? Have you ever had a conversation with a police officer? Well, when I got punched in the face that one time, I <laughs> you spit in his face. You're like, "Fuck you, pig." No, it was by a crackhead. But yeah, I I just told them I was like, "There's someone no, no, punching no. people in the face around here." No, no, that's what you said to the cop who tried to help mm-hmm. you. Uh, Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll never tell on a fellow brother of Brooklyn, on a fellow brother of Bed Stuy. Yeah, <laughs> spread spread love. It's the Brooklyn way, officer. <laughs> Have you ever heard of? Uh, the the notorious B.I.G. officer. Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, the livest one. <laughs> Dude, I really wanted to get uh, Nick and I those alternate Nets jerseys this year that said Bed Stuy on them. That'd be so have. funny just walking to the bodega. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. and just like a $200 authentic jersey. Yeah, it's like probably <laughs> <laughs> I just get a four XL, just a get dress. Black History Month henna <laughs> tattooed on my face. Just going. In. Hey, what's just up? Wishing you know, everyone a happy Black History yeah. Month. Let me get a. Uh, let me get this forty ounce of Saint Ives. And do you have any Kente cloth do rags? <laughs> yeah, I know it's March, but I'm trying to keep the party going. The after party. <laughs> March is the after party to Black History Month. Baby. Oh yeah, let me God. get a chopped cheese and a Kente Claude do rag. March is the hotel lobby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I stayed here throughout the coronavirus. So I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't leave. Mm-hmm. I earned my stripes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I moved in right before and I stayed throughout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is ha- is uh um do you think there's people gonna that's gonna be buying up fucking parts of Brooklyn or some shit because of this shit? I wonder if there's gonna be like a I don't I think probably the real estate dip was like a couple weeks ago to get in there. You could have gotten something cheap. But there's always like foreign money coming in. What about them. all the like fucking mom and pop stores that are gonna close? Can't, you know what's really happening? I mean, half the half the bodegas are now that like oh. natural grocer bullshit. That's and, true. But is that a chain or just a marketing? Uh, you know what this means that I didn't think about? 
Sweets for the Sweeties is fucking closed, boys. You know what's oh, a cool no. thing that's... Uh, we never got to go to Sweets for Sweeties. Sweets for the Sweeties. <laughs> we never had got to have a malt, to share a malt <laughs> at Sweets for Sweeties. A cool thing that they do in New York is like, you know, all those Kennedy fried chicken places? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, I mean, it's like a... It's like pretty close to being like a trademark violation of Kentucky fried chicken. You know? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. But the intellectual property of kennedy fried chicken isn't enforced internally so it's like this any black person can just open a business called kennedy fried chicken that rocks that's awesome yeah, because there was not- a kennedy fried chicken in east baltimore that yeah. i thought was a chain but the menu is completely different from anything all, i've seen it's just a name any of them can use and there was one that changed its name to obama fried chicken <laughs> <laughs> i think it's still obama fried chicken. hell yeah hell yeah I can't wait for a, 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 a Adam to, a guy in that in like a bedside jersey to be like, um, oh, why don't you just call it War Criminal Fried Chicken? Yes, just show yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know how many people were killed at weddings mm-hmm. by drones, <laughs> sir? Have you no honor? The Yemeni guy does not give a fuck at all. I love their. I love their. Uh, I love that it's like no standardized menu, and also what they have on the menus is like. Pizza, fucking yeah. fried chicken, subs, ice cream for some. Reason. It's awesome. Yeah, some some have egg rolls and lo mein and rocks. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently there's a good one that's like halal that's very good. I the think one, by where Nick lives. The one on fuck in Baltimore is awesome. They had awesome chicken boxes. I'm actually now I'm nostalgic for it. I'm mm-hmm. so hungry, dude. Yeah, you still on that diet? diet? Fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I I uh, mm-hmm. I. <laughs> well, oh yeah i went ground turkey because yeah i eat nothing but like lean protein mm. ground Bert. turkey 99 mm. percent lean Ooh, i made a, like, a, oh my a God, like eating packing peanuts i made a Awful. bolognese a couple of days ago with ground turkey it tasted very good yeah but you probably use like the regular ground turkey that has like that's what like 93 percent lean. Oh, yeah so whatever like that. Even, that, that even that little bit of fat like makes a world of difference plus yeah. all the sauce you probably put olive oil in there yeah you put a bunch of I shit in there Reyes. in fact the best the best shit for like making breakfast sausages is, is like a fatty ground turkey when i used to make like breakfast patties i preferred mm-hmm. that over pork really yeah and it's mm-hmm. easy it's just a little like what rosemary fucking black pepper maybe a little bit of sage yeah, mm. you know, yeah. Is any pepper. ground turkey fatty though, or is even? Are you talking like the ninety ten shit? I got the shit that's fucking yeah, like ninety ten. I'm talking like the yeah. like I have ninety nine percent fat free ground. Where the fuck do you even buy that? At the grocery at the grocery store that just opened up. Uh, yeah, I need to get some fucking psyllium husk because I'm shitting like once a week now, and it <laughs> de- like destroys the toilet every time. <laughs> what are we talking? Just a big fat lump of shit. Well, it's just like dense, and then the toilet won't flush. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you, the shits are flowing in this apartment. Yeah, the I shits will. I mean, are flowing like a faucet. I had, I was so I like I ate nothing but fucking peppers as like a meal. Uh-huh. You know, to like, I'm like I'm gonna get all my fiber in. Yeah, and force force something through here. Nothing. Like smoothies, Delta? brother. That's why I'm drinking these smoothies. Yeah, the smoothies. This shit, the, ooh, hold on. Moves right but through the, me. The problem with smoothies is like, you know, you have them like, then you just blew a whole meal on like a drink. No, if, dude, you like this shit is literally you're, one bag. Not, of spinach. I know, but you're not on like a, like a calorie deficit. So well, like that, I'm saying this much spinach is like 70 calories or something. So you got nothing in there, but fucking spinach. I have, I have like a couple some frozen berries and literally water. Yeah, but the the berries shit. I mean, that's a little bit more. I mean, I think you put an too. apple in there, some apple juice, or something to fucking sweeten it up. But just trying to go like green smoothie that's like oh, fucking kale and it nothing. tastes like shit. But it's, it's the only healthy thing I eat, of, you know, yeah. my whole life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing keeping my system flowing during this pandemic is I have one of these disgusting green smoothies every day, and I shit out the. I also made some fucking burger yesterday. Was burger night. As requested yeah. by my roommates, and I got yeah. in the kitchen and I shafted up. I got to figure out a way to get through the rest of these fucking Kirkland burger patties because I those those are real fatty. We Which have those plug, in my I, house right now. I plug them in and it's like they're too. I can't use them. You could I do think. half. You could fucking break them up with turkey. Now what I'm doing is I eat the whole thing because they're frozen. So I eat the whole oh, thing, yeah. and then I just subtract that fat from the next meal. Mm-hmm. 
just to get through it. But I see you, brother. Yeah. <clears throat> I would want some Kirkland. Pe- yeah. I, I made more, I, what I did was get a more, mix. More fiber. I could maybe I could just be drinking more water too. But I mean, I'm like not shitting, no energy. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> getting Bro. lean though. Yeah. Getting lean for sure. That's good. Yeah. You're gonna come out of this like a little butterfly, dude. Mm-hmm. Like a sexy little butterfly, dude. Well, this will probably go on for another 18 months. So I'll probably weigh 10 pounds. When it <laughs> you're going to be the machinist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but your cock looks huge. That's what I hear. Your dick looks awesome the more you Not lose really. weight. Where, where have I heard this before? <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> Are you serious? Um, I thought you were saying that as a joke. This oh, has come no. up literally. It's come up like five times in the last three months. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't remember anything we talk about ever on this fucking show. Yeah, me neither. It feels like we just have a conversation. I don't log our conversations in my head. Someone is. Yeah. That's for damn sure. Um, um, yeah, I haven't even, I can't even play Doom Eternal anymore. I'm just like, I just stare at the energy. fucking wall. Yeah. Damn. I've bro. been getting kind of muscular. I no, shouldn't have haven't. said that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, you haven't. I have yeah. uh, what what what, what kind do, of because you're you're so I'm full of yourself humble. you do you do two humble. you do two push ups and you're like yeah, oh, good or whatever no that's not true I've been doing burpees maybe, and pull-ups. maybe once a year you'll hey, pretend like you're going to the gym and then and then just lie about what no you're I've been I've been doing every and then day still it's I've a been... pathetic number it's always like yeah I'm benching like a hundred and forty no don't don't bring, <laughs> don't bring it up don't bring oh, that cool. up. Would Don't a bring twelve that year old girl should be able to. <laughs> There's a picture that Nick has on his phone that he uses. This. I haven't that brought it up. That is one of the most You're unflattering being... pictures I've ever seen in my life. It's pretty embarrassing. I was honestly, I gasped when I saw how, <laughs> how much of a bitch you look like. Anytime, <laughs> anytime, anytime we're like arguing, if, anytime we're arguing, things get too hot. Nick can just reply with this. It's picture. not arguing. It's about the gym. Like I've only dropped that on you when you specifically try to like make fun it's of true. me for going I, to the gym. No, I and didn't. It's like fun. you go to the gym too. You're bad at it. You're bad at the gym. God damn. We no, have the same it, goals. You just suck right. dick at it. It'd be it's like horrible. if I was like, oh, I'm going to take, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, you know, I don't know, the racetrack or something or like, oh, with your car. And then I post mm-hmm. pictures of, of you crying at like a, at a go-kart course. <laughs> They go, oh, remember yeah, that? It's, you it's were all remember remember when you said I'm getting really into racing and then you cried because four year old girls beat you up. Shape at a your body is. I shouldn't have it's said that like I'm getting one of the ridiculous I, things I've ever seen. I take I, it back. I I just have never seen someone struggle with that little weight. Mm. And it, it makes you look I worse. Thought, your body doesn't even look bad normally. It makes you look truly like a, a like an emaciated woman. I was not struggling. I was Doing just the bar for form before I put weights <laughs> on, but it does look like I'm bench pressing just the bar. I think I put weights on it, but your form is terrible. Yeah, the form is what's horrible. The form yeah. was bad. The form was <laughs> yeah. bad. And you it look looks like, like you look you look a- aggrieved. <laughs> it looks like you're doing a Joaquin Phoenix, make your body look shitty and fucked up in the Joker yeah, like type of thing. Joker. It's like that yeah. thing that he does. It, that's how you look. It's really good when he does that. It's very yeah. talented. He, he, looks, know, he oh. just he, he just looks like that. Is he that what the he, master is? His posture is all fucked up in the master too. And I know he's supposed to be playing a crazy guy, but it's like he's I supposed don't to, in the he, master. I think he's a guy who got like shell shocked from the war, so I think it's supposed to look like he was injured or something. Has he ever has he ever been jacked in a movie? No, that would be cool. Have you seen the movie so. where I mean, he maybe where maybe he Gladiator because everybody's got to have like. You know, you wear the little outfit. Yeah, I guess he's semi in Rome or not Rome in 300 where everyone had to be jacked. Like even the character that's like the mailman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the guy that's back in Sparta who like is just, you know, he hangs out at the bar. He's like, were we at like a war or something? And he's just got like a six pack. (laughs) He's like, oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Dude, even the fucked up, like, retarded guy that snitches on them has, like, Um, abs underneath his fucked up, like, he's, like, a strong, but, like, it's weird, dude. Yeah. Efialtis. They named, the name for a nightmare is named after that guy's name. I'm gonna Mm -hmm. come out of this looking like Leonidas, though. For real. Mm -hmm. No? 
Leo need night needs dick. <laughs> Leo nice. Um, Leo, nice. Nice. No, yeah. you're not Leo Nice Dick. I'm Leo Nice Dick. I'm, you're Leo be, Nice Dick. Can I be Leo Negro DiCaprio? <laughs> no. Why not? <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, I was yeah. doing one the other, a, a song the other day. Can I do it? <laughs> What's I, that? Yeah. You can tell me. Tell me. Nah, Nick's like. like he's enjoying the Leo Negro DiCaprio. <laughs> Wait, remind no, me. All right, song. go. No, go ahead. Do the song. <laughs> it's um. It's uh, it's, uh would you, Nick, would you do some kind of famous lines from his movies in some I mean, way, would you say? I mean, naturally, that's where that would go. Okay, so no, let's, I want to hear that. Let's put it in the song. Na- naturally, you would <laughs> say the thing and then walk the bit out to its natural yep. conclusion. I, uh, What's the song? Go ahead. No, hey, now got, it's we got, we got another okay. 35 minutes here. All right. Um, It's a black guy singing in the dead of night. That's that's, that's, that's I just awesome, kept saying that. It's really a black good. black Go bird. On. It's a black yeah. guy singing. Um, well, that's even better than that's we usually. Awesome. Yeah, that's much better than blackbird sucking on my dick. I'm gay. <laughs> well, that's yeah. not as funny as the Beatles saying that about a black uh, a black guy singing. Why should it be black guy sucking on my dick? I'm gay. Think about that, Adam. Think about adding know, a new that's... familiar. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I guess we can change it to black guys sucking on my dick. I'm gay. There you go. Sing it. Sing it with conviction. Black guys sucking on my dick. I'm gay. You think it would be ethically <laughs> wrong it. for me to go ride the uh, the East River ferry right now for no reason? Is it going? Yeah. The they're, ferry. Tearing it, they're tearing it up. They're tearing it up on the river? Really? Mm-hmm. Um, I think no one's on there though, because it's I like, love you know, taking that. Ferry. I know that's that's literally what I ripped Ian for, but yes. this time it's about something I enjoy and not riding a bicycle around. Taking that taking that ferry is is it's like a, a nice mini cruise in the middle of your day. Yeah, you, yeah. You get to, it's, it's it's very pleasant. Would you not, pick it up at Brooklyn Heights? What would you pick it up at Brooklyn Heights? Um, I guess Dumbo, Dumbo, I guess Dumbo, is the yeah. big one. Yeah, I would. I don't know, man. That's a whole thing. It's a whole adventure. That's a that's a nice date. You, yeah. you walk you walk around Brooklyn Bridge Park, then you take the ferry. It's a nice. classic classic New York City date. Comical as well. What's that? Ferry's free. The ferry's no. I think it's two seventy five. Nice. Yeah, I oh, spend on, I spend on a bitch, dude. <laughs> You'll open up the coffers for some. I'll pussy. open up the wallet for a bitch. Five fifty for 550. a nice little boat ride for the two of us. Yeah. That's just one way, though. Yep, that is true. If I was cheap, I'd take the Staten Island ferry, which is free. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, the fucking ferry, the ferry douche. Who Black you bitch, calling a ferry? I'm gay. Black guy sucking on my I'm gay. You know, and honestly, that's a beautiful portrayal of interracial of modern love. Why do you jewel off cam, Adam? I feel like uh, embarrassed of what it looks like. Yeah, I think it probably looks kind of lame. Yes, it does. But uh, you know, I'm trying to protect my image, which is and all. at this point, my image is completely oh, yeah. un unvarnished. <clears throat> Varnish. Or, uh, un, un, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Who cares? Know. I'm never leaving my house again. Let's deal with uh, so Kim Jong Un is not gonna die, but they were saying he was. They were saying he's brain dead. I thought. What happened there? He's not right. Yeah. Apparently now, I, now, I, now they've got something in common with our 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 freaking leader. <laughs> Thank you. Know? you. Like, you ever see you ever see the way Tom does that kind of like this like chicken move? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's got a real good one. Yeah. When he's got a real good when he wants to punctuate. Yeah, it was, <laughs> he's vibrating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's just charging up, baby. Mm-hmm. He's just going super saiyan. Yeah, brain dead. <laughs> I love when he gets like he goes like a little bit too far. Oh, you know? it's always the best. <laughs> yeah. Just it always goes it. like morbid. Mm. It's always about how he wants someone to die. Yeah, like when he said that he wanted Stav to die. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so. Like, yeah, that, that was, was funny. funny. And then you told on him. 
didn't. I didn't tell on him. I made a joke about how he shouldn't be harassing in this uh, day and age. Mm, you reported. You started a, a mass report campaign. Yeah, I said we need. I I sent it to uh, some of the women from the Me Too movement. I said Alyssa Milano reposted it. Said we need to ban Tom. I don't expect mm-hmm. anyone that wishes uh, me death. Well, so you, Tom, I was trying to stand up for Stav. I tell you and what. I appreciate- it, if you like the Me Too movement, you'll love BlueChew.com. Hell yeah. That's right. I think that's what it says here. Because none of the, there's if never you, been anything bad that's happened. After. If you like sex, you'll love BlueChew.com. It's good Blue with, Chew, the, with the pipe to emphasize the point. Yeah. Because of I've destroyed my circulation by just smoking a pipe all day long. <laughs> I now need penis enhancement pills for the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Poppy. The, the bedroom. But you can take them. It says enhancement for the bedroom. But you can take this shit in your car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can get, you know, you maybe. In car bathroom when you're unexpectedly about to get pussy. Yeah. You, 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 you're now you're nervous because you're like, shit, is the pill going to kick in on time? You got to take it. And you, you spend get, the whole kind of stroking your cock a little bit to see if it's working. When you're driving your girlfriend's dad's car around, mm-hmm. you're going to need some bluechew.com to get your <laughs> penis on. When you're picking up your girlfriend from high school in her dad's car, mm-hmm. bluechew.com, you get the same, you get the first chewables with the same active ingredients. Sil- <laughs> Sildenafil or Tadalafil. Tadalafil. Same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Yeah, I love that they put that on Italians. The, mm-hmm. the Viagra Italian. and Cialis. Do you say no, on no. Italian? On Italian, it's like yeah, it's like I use we need the Viagra and a Cialis. <laughs> You're right. They do sound pretty Italian. Because who they do sound Italian. Harder than an Italian. Yeah, I mean they both sound like they would be Hondas if they weren't dick pills. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Hyundai Viagra. Yeah. Sound like uh, great car models. Uh, Bluechew.com affiliated physicians will work with you to find the dosage and active ingredient that's best for you. Yeah. How fucked up is your cock? Which did that happen? I mean, I guess I kind of just, I didn't ever give them feedback. I, I kind of just. Were grandfathered in during the Wild West days where yeah. you just fucking clicked a button and a bunch of dick pills came into your fucking. Hell the yeah. glow, the halcyon days of Bluechew. Yeah, I came in. I came in later, but thank <laughs> God I did. Chewables th- can work faster. The chewables from Blue Chew can be taken on a full or empty stomach. The online mm-hmm. physician consult is free, so it's cheaper than the other two. Oh, yeah. Um, Much oh, cheaper. Sorry. I just panicked because I thought it was May for a second. For is it? Yes. Yeah. And it only takes a few minutes to connect with a BlueChew.com affiliated physician, and if you qualify, you get prescribed online quickly. No in-person doctor visit, no awkward conversation, no waiting in line at a pharmacy. It ships directly to your door in discreet packaging. The chewables from bluechew.com are made in the USA. They give you confidence in bed. Chew and do it, whatever. Here's the deal for you guys. Dude, reading sucks now. I fucking hate mm-hmm. it. Dude, every every night I read for like, I'm like, I'm going to read. And I read for four minutes and I go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Nothing. My Two brain pages. hurts every time mm-hmm. I read. Blue Chew gives you confidence in bed every time. So here's the deal for you guys. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code Cometown. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E Chew.com, promo code Cometown. But here's the thing. And look, they you said, know, we're not just fuck it. We're not just ad men. We're customers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got so that got in, in the bathroom. But Dr. Uh, F- uh, Fauci, Fauci, yeah, who has been... 100% correct on this thing the whole time has said that it is okay to get pussy. He said, Wait, for real? Yeah, he's they. I think it's I second, third hand. I think I heard is that serious? That. Well, they said, yeah. Be careful with ass eating. Yeah, they were like, No, that was the New York thing. But they said, like, Look, I know people, you know, it's got to suck to be somebody that wasn't fucking at all. And yes. then quarantine started and it was like three days, and people are like, Oh my god, I haven't fucked at all. And to be the guy that's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a long time. That stinks. That sounds I'm, like a I'm long... seriously going crazy over here. Yeah, I don't even know. I mean, it's like, I guess I'll just play video games for a decade. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm anyway. just going to stay with my parents. Yeah, they said you can fuck. So if you're not, you should go to Blue Chew, order some. And also, too, if you get the prescription now... You're stocking up, and then when the quarantine ends, 
guess who you can take two, three pills at a time. My cock is going to get so hard. Yeah. Look, just rock look star, who's... rock star car wash your way through the fucking unemployment line. You know, uh-huh. just going, hey, how you doing, ladies? You ever hear of an erection? Just take a dick <laughs> pill in front of a woman you're trying to fuck. You just yeah. Hey, listen, oh, bitch. Later, bitch. <laughs> Whoa, me too. What is this? 2016. It's the apocalypse. Why don't you come <laughs> suck my cock? I paid for the pills. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> me too's old news. Joey Biden's the Democratic nominee. Yeah. Everybody's getting pussy any way they want it. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Let me smell you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Dude, that tweet from the New York Times, it was like... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> like, no, uh, he found no evidence that he did anything other than fucking what people no, said he did. Other than the, than the well-sourced... I didn't see it. What is it? People uh, you, love him touch. Well, how about you don't worry about it? You know, next time yeah. you have one of these I didn't see it okay. thoughts, you just go, yeah, yeah totally. Because t- what would have happened time. if you did see it? You would have said something cool about it? Probably, maybe. You There's a, a chance I would have. You would have uh, said something. Yeah, I would have come in with a cool take. Hey, I'm just kidding. Bluechew.com promo code come town. Joe Biden. Promo code Joe Biden. Ah, uh, fuck, dude. I'd like to slip him a couple of blue chews. Oh, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. He just, seems like even if he's senile, he seems virile still. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. Imagine him with cock pills. Oh what kind God. of hijinks he would get up to? What kind of eighty style senator type behavior he would get up to? Some like uh, teen sex comedy style shit. Dude, Dude I was holes in the I, locker room. I, wall. Would it be worth it to rewatch Porky's this afternoon? There's all this shit that I want to do that I remember that I think like, oh, that would be fun. And what I'm just remembering is when I enjoyed weed as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Yes, 100%. You do get to see what's her name, Kim Cattrall's Hooters. If I were to smoke weed now, I would sit, stare at the fucking wall and do nothing. What I've been doing is you know I, what I would do is I would justify having one serving of seaweed snacks and then end up eating like fifteen packages of them. That's true. That would yes. absolutely. Yeah. I'm like, it does. It's fine. It's seaweed. <laughs> I would I would completely blow my diet, but then on bullshit. Oh, not even anything you're enjoying. Not something I enjoy. Not I would eat, I would eat yeah. fucking like nine bags of rice cakes. Yes, dude, horrible. <laughs> just not really. Just sort of slightly wincing every time you're like, Ugh. yeah, dude. That's all you got. Exactly. When you like, when you have like compulsive behavior, and like you start going off the rails with something, and you're like, fuck it. I don't care. Fuck it. Let it go. <laughs> Yeah, just like no matter what, you just can't stop. I had a nice little run last night, dude. I was almost yeah. home for it. And I'm like, let me have a little sweet on the way out. But we didn't have yeah. any dessert. Yeah. I literally, I was fucking eating cereals. I was just like peanut yeah. butter in the cereal, and mixing an, it up. An entire bag, of, dude. I can eat out like I, I think at one time I ate an entire barrel of those honey braided like twist pretzels. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I was like, I'm gonna let myself have one. And then I had three, and it was like, well, guess three's- I learned my guess I learned my lesson. So much for trying. <laughs> Time to sit here and over the course of two and a half hours, eat fifteen thousand calories worth. Of yeah. <laughs> Shit, worth I barely breath. like. Shit, I mean, just barely. I love them. Don't get me honey, wrong. I love them. Honey twisted ones. Yeah, I've never had those. They're not, mm-hmm. they're not barrel eat worthy, brother. I don't know. I love them. The honey braided twists. We got different tastes. That's true. That's the thing. It's like if you were an alcoholic, you would be one of these like fucking like, you know, like whiskey or scotch tasting kind of guys. You're not like a fucking 30 Coors Light sort of dudes. Um, Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. See, these are just they're fine. I'm looking at them. They're good, but they're not. Oh, you had to pull them up. Pull them up to make sure I had the right (laughs) Let, uh, Jamie, let's get that on the screen. Here. <laughs> let me take a look at. Let me remember what these look like. Just not enough flavoring for me, though. You know what I like too. First mm. of all, two greatest snack brands: Snyder's and Uts. Uts, I can definitely go with you there. Uts yeah. is good. I don't know if I can follow you all the way on Snyder's. The Snyder's rectangular box hard sourdough pretzels. Respect big, on that. The, the big fuckers. Percent. Not gonna hear a fucking peep out of me about that. 
And also, I just the, don't see the versatility of the Snyder's brand. But go ahead. Yeah, they have like pretzel bites that are covered in like yes, some, like, yes. Honey, honey barbecue. That, I am yeah. so in. And yes. they have a buffalo situation now too. Yeah, they're going the weird like onion one also yeah. those mm -hmm. are unbelievable i remember i had a bag of those and my dumb bitch stepmom when i was like 15 was trying to tell me that i couldn't eat them in the apartment because she was allergic to onions or something and i was like you're just trying to find any way to to, to just shit on my life <laughs> to take, to take doing, the, the smallest thing away from me a bag of pretzels i bought at the gas station Dusted with something that's probably going to give me fucking it's testicular gonna, cancer. That's going to make it so I can't have a family <laughs> of my own. So I will also be rele relegated to the world of step parenting <laughs> like you. <laughs> Damn. You would have had to tell her right then. That would have really shut her bitch ass up, dude. Yeah. Fuck. But, you know, this would be a bad time to get testicular cancer. Not that there's ever a good time. Yeah. I feel like you know I I don't know anyone that's that's had ball cancer. I, well, my, one of my friends, one ball Nate from college. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't know anyone? You know what that means? Adam. Who? You know what that means? Uh -oh. That I'm gonna get it. You. But I think it's early twenties you get it. It's like the you're young right. cancer. To your right. Uh -oh. If there's no good guy, it's you. What do I hear? I think I hear your your tiny balls filling They're not tumors. <laughs> Always that's the only thing that might save you is how small your balls are. Yeah, the doctor's surface area. <laughs> the camp. This and actually his grow, it, it's very noticeable. So yeah, I had I to, thought I had testicular cancer a couple years ago, but I'm pretty sure it was coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> I was, didn't you start getting twisted or something? Me? Me? Yeah. No, I got I had like a cyst on one of my nuts that I thought was a tumor. I, and I went that. to the doctor and they were like, yeah, it's just a cyst. Did they suck it to, to check? No, it was a Chinese doctor who just like his equipment was like there was like d like doctor's office machines just jammed into the room. And yeah. a, like a bucket of Magnum condoms. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, OK, yeah, I'll pull your pants down and uh, let me take a look. You know, he's like one of those like New York Chinese guys. Yep. And he's like, he's like, OK, yeah, I can definitely feel it. Uh. Let me look at me right here. It's a cyst, okay? You know, if it fucking gives you problems in the future, maybe you come back. We'll do ultrasound, but for this, it's a cyst. Don't worry. He's like, okay, let me check your prostate real quick. Just by feeling it around? Yeah, he just, he was like, it's fine. Dude, nice. the Chinese rock. If I was going to, that's why it must be okay to like, you know, because I figure over there, you work in a factory for 10 years and you're 27. They're like, yeah, you have every type of cancer. <laughs> the doctor's probably like, Hey, sorry, Slick, but hey, don't worry. Fuck it. That's life. And then you're like, yeah, I guess that is life. <laughs> it is life. You go to the factory. Just, easier, yeah, you just fucking you just 12 hours a day, six days a week. Just be a Chinese guy. It's amazing they don't have country music. Mm. In China? Yeah, they yeah. do. They have like, their country music is that bing, bong, yeah. bing. Yeah. Chinese guitar. That, that guitar I do know that we talked about. Yeah. Because I love talking about that. Bang, bong, ding, bong. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the clip that gets us canceled. What? That's this what is chain. Yeah. No, it definitely sounds like that. Mm -hmm. Just a Chinese, a Chinese guy, a Chinese guy named Johnny Cash only, and he's a, <laughs> he's a Chinese Chinese country music musician. Oh uh, uh. yeah, I hurt myself today. <laughs> what was he doing? Um, refusing a black person service yeah i guess mm. you know what I mean? rushing him out of his store or something like that mm -hmm. i mean it could you know and instead of pickup trucks they got rickshaws that's yeah kind of that's true yeah that's I'm not that's too, definitely true i'm not too proud to that'd be funny if you were a chinese up. chinese incel trying to do like run people over but you drive a rickshaw <laughs> Yes, that's true. try to do like a truck attack with a rickshaw. That was just a funny image. Mm -hmm. You would just get hit immediately. Yeah, you would just <laughs> yeah it bounce instead, back instead of Garth Brooks. It's uh, <laughs> Barth. Uh, you just swear, so Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Is, okay, you got it. That's kind of a connect the dots problem, right? It works for Brooks and Dunn also. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, sort. I guess sort of. Gooks and Brun. No, no, uh, Gooks and. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Damn. Um, Johnny Cash only is good though, man. No, we. We'll, I keep talking. Okay, let's keep going. Um. <clears throat> oh. Kenny Kenny Lodgers. Or He's what are we doing now? Are we naming Chinese, Chinese country singers? Country singers. Yeah, I like the approach of Johnny Cash only more than just kind of doing Yeah, because it's like a yeah. Chinese. The, 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 chat, the, the, chat's, the chat's got to be going wild right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 they're so mad that they can't. <laughs> and we'll never... Bitch. <laughs> Sorry, you're not in... Yeah, we're not going to see group. your idea. I don't care if you came over the first... Um, we'll we'll arrive on it five minutes later and do it wrong. You'll be like, I, I was the one that said it. That's got to be infuriating. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. I sucked my own penis because I'm gay and Chinese. That's kind of the song he would do. Mm. You'd think there'd be a voice, but no, he sounds just like Johnny Cash. But he lets you know he's Chinese. That's my spin on the whole thing. I suck dick. Was I suck balls. Huh? Nothing. What's your name? Who? I can't remember lady, anything anymore. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. So you can't remember her name, and then you also don't have a thing to pair her with. No, you can, <laughs> You got to start with the name. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. No. What's oh? Give me the one of the names so I can not have an idea for it. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't like let me see if this fit. Oh, here it is. It's oh, just the I'm I. I'm trying concept. to remember mm-hmm. country people's names, and then you got to build off the name. Mm-hmm. Listen, I got Kenny Lodgers. That's 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 half point. Nope. Mm-hmm. All right. What about so, just saying no. What about John Prawn? So John Prine. John Prawn? Like Chinese people call shrimps prawns more than the average person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Sure. That guy was pretty good. I never knew him at all. And then he died. And his very sh- sad, dude. His shit, his shit was popping off. Some good ass songs in there. Mm-hmm. And he's got a weird, fucked up, cheeky face. It would be, be Misto Sali Parton. Yeah. Misto Sali part. Damn, yeah. Nick. Virtuous though. Mm-hmm. Right. Tears in my eyes. The next one. Bravo. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Um. So just to reiterate, though, Kim Jong Un is not dead. People are lying. No. Good. He's thank God he's alive. That's what I said. And he's him got a sister, cute, right? Him and his Animal Crossing looking ass body. He does look cute. Adorable. What How do, what's an Animal Crossing looking body? I don't know. I've never like, even played Animal know. Crossing, but he's, you know, portly, but in a kind of a cute way. I, thought they were I like assume that's what... Ant he is eaters, cute. Ant eaters and raccoons and stuff. I think there's people in I it. I think it's people. From what I can tell on the screenshot. But I haven't played because I'm sure that women have ruined it, you know? Hmm. So true. It's the girl video game of quarantine. And you won't play it. I don't have any systems here. So you're you're even lower than the girl gamers, is what you're saying? No, that's true. Who you malign? Who I don't, by the way. I want to play Animal Crossing, but I can't find one of my Joy Cons. It would suck. Fucking... It would suck to date one of those female streamers. A female oh, Twitch streamer? Oh, yeah. yeah, because you're just coming in the bedroom and she's on. Just showing her breasts to. She's showing her breasts to all these mouth breathers. Your enemies. <laughs> your mortal enemies. Mm-hmm. They're trying to unseat you with every fucking every yeah. donation. They're giving yeah, her was... coins or something. Or I don't even know how it works. It would mm-hmm. suck to date a woman that publicly sexualizes herself, <laughs> puts all of her shit on display. Yeah, that I can see how. I can see how that would be that was, humiliating. That, was, that would be hard. Yeah, it would be. 
<laughs> yeah, it would suck to date a dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I found out? Dennis Quaid. Listen, we got some competition. Dennis Quaid has a podcast now. Oh my god. <laughs> What are we gonna Dennis do? Dennis Quaid has a podcast. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It would be better if it was Randy Quaid had a podcast. It, I think it's called the Denisons. The Denison. That's a cool name. That's a cool name. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's up there with with the Chinese the Chinese uh, country singers. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about? What other, uh, go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> no, I mean it. Go ahead. Fuck. <laughs> if it was like Waylon and then. Chinese Jennings. <laughs> I like that actually. That's good. That is a good one. Waylon mm-hmm. Chinese Jennings. Yeah, good yeah Way- Waylon know. Jennings, but it's like W E I L I N. Waylon. That's much better. Believe yourself. Waylon Chinese Jennings is good. Yeah. Okay. It's worse than if it was Chinese Waylon Jennings. Gotta be Chinese in the middle makes it even worse. Um. So I've been I've been keeping up on who's what our competition is. Dennis Quaid, the Denisons is a problem, and also listen to this: Michael Imperioli and Steve Sharippa have a fucking Sopranos podcast. Two what? guys from the Sopranos have a Sopranos podcast. Wow, they have must have so much access, dude. I I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to. Yeah, it sounds great. I haven't listened to a podcast since the quarantine, but. I, mean, I, I wish I hadn't I fucking up. said that Chinese country singer thing because now I'm just gonna have those like yeah boop, I'm still boop, thinking about boop, it boop, 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 boop. just bouncing around in my head all day. Is that what your brain sounds like? Yeah. All day. Calming. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I should replay Sonic Adventure too. Boop 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 boop. Boop 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 boop. boop, boop, boop. I wonder how much it costs to have a crazy taxi machine delivered to my apartment. Boop, boop. All day, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a slice of pussy. No, sir. Getting a little uh, peep, up. getting a taste, mm-hmm. a little taste, save you, hold you over for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with chopping a bitch's pubic hair off, putting it in her pussy, dipping it, and then saving it for later. Little mm-hmm. slice, great wall, Confucius, Confucius, great wall, Confucius, Merle Haggard. Okay, <laughs> great wall, Confucius. That's more of what's going on in my head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Genghis Khan, great wall, Mer- Merle Haggard. Tiananmen Square. <laughs> Tiananmen Square. Merle Haggard. <laughs> Montgomery, Montgomery Gentry. Haggard. Trace Adkins. <laughs> Hong Kong. Good. Trace Adkins. Karate. Um, Kung Fu. Shaolin. Shaolin Jennings. Shaolin Jennings. Jennings. That's really good. That's really good. Shaolin yeah. Jennings. There he is. That's good. That's very good. Uh, Beijing Beijing Jennings works a little bit. Um, what's uh, I like Wu, Wuhan, 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 Lu, Lu, Han, Lu, Lu, Han, Reed, Lu, Han, Lu, Reed. Isn't it? Yeah, I know. Know. Um, Lou. Graham Parsons, Bat, Bat Soup. Mm-hmm. Bat, Bat Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Keith. Um. Um. <laughs> I don't know that many country guys, man. <laughs> That's just funny to be completely silent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? Let's see here. Chopsticks and done. Okay. Okay. Chopsticks and done. Brooks and the. Yeah, it's okay. You could do better with Brooks and Dunn. I feel like. Um, all right, I gotta look up most famous country musicians because that's the that's the real problem. You need to start with the names. That's what I was saying. Yeah, but you do that on your own. You don't say. Well, I forgot her name. Oh, what about Willie Nelson? There's got to be some for Willie. Um, 
Ch- chili? Chili. No. Oh, chili. like uh, ch- chili oil. Chili oil. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, dump, dumpling. Zhao Lon Bao. Yeah. Oh. Chopsticks, low main. Low main. Mao Zedong. Re- Reba McIntyre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. <clears throat> Oh, instead of Alan Jackson, you could do Alan Bat Bat Soup. Bat okay. Bat. Yes. Um, um. Sh- Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Okay, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't shot. Chi- well, there's there's mu- right, there's a right. Muslim China guy. Keith or, or bamboo. Yes, thank you. That's okay. good. Right. Instead of Chennai Twain, it's China Twain. Mm. Oh, so just write with China. It's just with China. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> China t- should China Twain. <laughs> China Twain. <laughs> China Twain. China. That's good. That would also be a black lady's name is she China. China. <laughs> I, I went to school with a couple. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Um, how about, how about, how about it's Hank Williams? It's just Chink Williams. <laughs> 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 I guess, yeah. I guess if it's a prompt for the for the assignment. <laughs> It works. <laughs> Dwight Gook. Dwight Gookum. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so the Luke Combs is just Gook Combs. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. No, we got this. <laughs> How about the Dixie Chinks? <laughs> okay. Yep. How, about, how about we just we take it back to the classics? You know, just really, the... Maybe I put a little bit too much chili oil on this one and over yeah. on it. I think probably that's what you did. Yeah. Uh, the Dixie Chinks is probably, but that's where that peaks for me. Yeah. That's probably the best one wordplay wise. Yeah. For what <laughs> the assignment was. It's very mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. How about uh, Glenn Campbell, Glenn Ross? That's oh. good. And that's not just, Chinese, but it's very but, good. But he's on tour in China. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Glenn Campbell, and he's forgotten how to play guitar, and the only thing he can remember is Alec Baldwin's monologue. <laughs> you just saying, Gary, go, yeah, how you all doing tonight? Uh, put that coffee down, faggot. <laughs> you think coffee is for closers? Yeah, he's just got the guitar. <laughs> Oh, he's saying the speech. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glenn, 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 Glenn Campbell, Glenn Ross. He said, where am I? China? Oh, you don't say. <laughs> oh, uh, here's one that's more PG. Um, uh, Kenny Chestnut Sauce. That's good. Kenny Chestnuts. Kenny, Kenny Water Chestnuts. Yeah, Kenny, that's, Kenny, that's che- uh, Kenny Water Chestnut. Yeah, I thought about that one earlier, but it doesn't fit. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't. That shit don't work, pal. Glenn, oh, Glenn Campbell peppers. They don't really use bell peppers. <laughs> yeah, peppers. sometimes, dude. Look at this. Yeah, in a kung pao chicken, there's bell pepper. I don't know. And peanut. Peanut, yeah, for sure. But that's uh, also more. I would say. Damn, there are right, so Ken- many shitty country musicians. Johnny Cash, your chicken, but you already mm-hmm. said Johnny. What the Cash fuck is this? The Florida Georgia line. Oh know? yeah, dude, I know them. This is awful. They have a song called uh, "Cruise." That's kind of a kind of a slapper. If you ask, yeah. Me. yeah. Their mm, songs they covered that. Uh, it's about so, going to men's restrooms. Really? No. Oh, that would be funny. No. Some country song about yeah, that would be awesome. 
Florida Georgia line is a very bad name for a music artist. Well, that's where they are, dude. They're a North Panhandle, Florida. Panhandle is that the Panhandle? Florida Georgia line. I, I'm assuming it's the border between those two states. Oh fuck! No, isn't the Panhandle Alabama and Florida? How about instead of Chris Christopherson, it's Boys Piss, Boys Pissed Offerson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? That was really good. That's my favorite. Yeah, boys, boys, boys piss Ooh. off or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How about just yeah, like one of those rap rock country groups called Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah sure. works. Mm-hmm. Panda, there's some panda fucked. Like How about instead of ago. Dwight Yoakum, it's Drink Yoakum. Drink mm. your, like, Yoakum. Yeah. Isn't that the guy from Swing Blade? It is the guy yeah. from Swing Blade. He's, he's, also in, he's also in Panic Room. Oh, I thought that was the character's name. No, no, he's he's a country no, the, musician. The, and the character's I, name is Sling Blade. But I thought it was like a nickname. Well, he plays the the dad. You thought you thought the name of the character in the I, movie was Dwight Yo. I swear to God, I swear <laughs> to God, I did because we've talked about it before, and I thought you guys were saying Dwight Yoakum. No, and then his Nick nickname talked about how he likes Dwight Yoakum's character in Sling Babe because he's always getting the band back. But together. just to make this clear, you thought that the character Sling Blades. <laughs> no one calls him Sling Blade. In the movie. I've never heard the movie. I've never seen the movie. Oh, okay. So it was just I just assumed the guy's name was Dwight Yoakum, and that like Sling Blade was his nickname. Oh yeah, no, I don't think they 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 his they Sling Blade is not the character's nickname at all. Even there's not a no. character named Sling Blade in the movie. Oh, it's not a guy. It's not the guy. The main guy's not Sling Blade. No, his name is not Sling Blade. <laughs> Really? His name is Carl something. It's like Carl. Uh, let me look oh, what the fuck? I thought that, I thought that was like a cool nickname for like a murderer. Yeah, Carl Childers is the name of the character, but they repeatedly refer to him as Carl. His name is Carl. He doesn't have a nickname. <laughs> they don't call him Sling Blade. I've never seen it. Yeah. I assume his nickname was Sling Blade, and the, the guy's name was Dwight Yoakam. You have to admit, Dwight Yoakam is a retarded guy's sounding name. I think it's a cool sounding name, personally. Damn, now I want to rewatch Sling Blade. If you've never seen Sling Blade, you should watch it. Okay, that is a fucking. Like that, it is such a good movie. So I, I, we almost watched it. And I think my roommate was like, "It's dark." It is dark, it? but it. I don't know what year that was. That came out maybe ninety seven, but it was like like. like in, uh, yeah. There was like a couple of years that just like sucked. You know, for, mm-hmm. m- for movies. And that one was like a highlight. Billy Bob, right? Billy Bob getting it in? Yeah. yeah. What year was Sling Blade? Siri, pull up Sling Blade. Siri, pull up Sling Blade. 96. Nice. Yeah, I remember that just that, that era of movies just makes me think about like, do you remember when Hollywood's fucking big cause was ending the death penalty? Yeah. That was the thing. Like, that's, uh, that's, that was like, that was, that was like, as me as a little kid, I thought celebrities like, you know, cause they always talked about things. So I thought that they could do stuff. You know? Right. I didn't know the difference between somebody who was rich and somebody who was famous and somebody who was the president. You know what I mean? It was just like, yeah, people yeah. Of, they're all and, the presidents. And, and, and the biggest issues at the time when I was a kid were the death penalty and then, uh, the Titanic sinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a huge problem. Yeah, that was a those big are the problem. Two things, those idea. are the two things that, based on like award shows, celebrities seem to care about. Yeah. <laughs> and then nothing happened with the death penalty. They didn't nothing change shit. I guess the Oklahoma bombing happened, and then they were like, "Oh, never mind." Yeah, maybe you know, terrorism and mass shootings like ticked up, and they were like, "Oh, I guess we do want to kill some people," and then they kind of gave up on it. And but then that we was, had Rwanda was. A bit for a while, because of Hotel Rwanda. Yeah, but the, the celebrities don't give a shit about things like that. They never fucking care. Oh, yeah. uh, what? Yeah, we talk. Every every award show, something comes up, and I feel like Rwanda or just like genocide or what? Darfur. Darfur. Darfur, was- Darfur is like where that kind of started, but that was like a one-off. Darfur. I mean, 
there, yeah. I mean, Bosnia was like a fucking big deal. And like celebrity again, literally James Cameron's whole fucking speech was about like, can we have a moment of silence for the victims of the Titanic? <laughs> As like bombs were dropping, <laughs> that, that uh, that speech yeah. is hilarious because yeah. he's full blown autistic. Yeah. And at the end of the speech, he's like, "And to, to close things off," and he's like, "I'm the king of the world." And then it bombs. Uh -huh. It right. bombs. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That is so funny. And that's where you would say, um, "We was kings of the world." Yeah, yeah. we was Leon Leo Negro DiCaprio. <laughs> if that had been. If that had given, been allowed, given the light, given the light of day, yeah. yeah. Oh well, no, but we had black guys singing in the dead of night. Oh yeah, that classic. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> <laughs> who could forget, man. <laughs> uh, black guys sucking on my dick. I'm gay. <clears throat> I wish I could sing, dude. It's probably better if it was black girl singing because girl sounds like bird, kind of. It's, it has the same assonance. Or whatever. No, dude, it was perfect. Okay. Don't yeah. try, don't try and rework perfection, brother. I appreciate you saying that, dude. <sighs> I wish I could sing. Yeah, me too, dude. I wish I could sing. That would be awesome. I would just be singing all the time. I me wouldn't too, be, yeah. I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Singing. Oh my god! I'd be like, get, let me get. I'd be at Subway. An extra sweet onion chicken teriyaki sauce. And put more of the sweet onion sauce on there. They're like, I'm like, what do you mean? It's fifteen seventy five. Didn't you hear my song? I should be free. It should be free if you can sing. If you can sing, it should be free. Mm -hmm. And can I get some pussy, please? That's what the gig economy is, dude. After this clears up and we're all working in the gig economy, if mm -hmm. you can bring your talent, if you can trade your yeah. talent for... Yeah. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these, like, you know... It's like, so Burning, Man. It's gonna be these, like Burning Man. I don't want to say younger comics because most of them are my, my age or older. But, you know, <laughs> people that are relatively new to the business, 10, 15 years in, and things aren't really working out. It's like, why, you, if you just try bringing your talent to the people show directly, up. just show up. Go to the go, grocery store. Do go, go into pret a and say, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, hmm, so I like fuck like six guys this week. Uh, hmm, having a normal one. And then yeah. get a job. They're like, sure. they're like, oh, it's $8.75. And you're like, no, I'm trading my art. <laughs> I'm bartering with my art. I'm about to observe how guys don't have more than one set of bed sheets, and it yeah. should get me a free baguette. I should be able to. Can I eat out of the garbage, please? <laughs> yeah, please just let me eat out of the garbage. I want to see In some peace. of those girls. I'm not homeless. I'm not mentally ill. I'm hungry, and I and I got declined for an OnlyFans account. Please let me eat out of the garbage. <laughs> If there's an, like an old acai bowl, I might be able to lick <laughs> an acai quinoa bowl that I could perhaps eat out of the garbage. <laughs> I would be much obliged to you. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, maybe I, maybe we should become farmers, dude. Grow our, yeah. own, grow our own crops. I mean, that's, that's part of the whole compound dream, man, is you get a big a plot of land. And you get, I mean, it's a, it's a compound, you know, yep. you bring people that have skills, shared resources, nobody owns anything, you know, it mandatory, puts. mandatory fucking gun ownership for everybody that lives on the fucking yep. mm -hmm. For it's starters, true. you will have a firearm and you will know how to use it. Yes, All right. And disputes are settled by the blade, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, the blade. Damn. I'm pissed. They don't call the guy sling blade in the movie. Yeah. But that's, Fuck off, you know, blade. Shit like get, that. You get you pool your resources. Everybody gets a big, big fucking thing, and I'm sure it would fall apart. It would be a disaster, you know, as it's Absolutely. always been. Yes. As it literally is, I no matter because every system fails because people are terrible, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but uh, that's the dream. Mm. You see, I didn't think of it as more like a lot of people being there. I thought of it as like you, you know, you and your family. No. No, no you got it's a compound. You, you got a, you can make a new family now. Yeah. Based on ideology. Se a sex cult. 
You could say that. You're in the middle of it. You know who is kind of a piece of ass? Who? David Koresh. No, nah, was he? Guy. Yeah, look it up. About to. About to. He was I the... thought he was ugly, and then I watched that documentary, and I was like, he's he's kind of charismatic and good looking. Oh, this guy? About to join yeah. The... yeah, he's, he's kind of hot. Guy. He's not the hottest guy. There's some picture where he looks good. Somewhere Stop, he looks fucked look, up. You look 10 years younger with the hair grown in. Thanks, man. Yeah, you actually, I, I got to say, it looks, it's not a bad look. It doesn't look bad. Yeah, well, we're going to let it run, and I'm going to get this bald ponytail, boys. Yeah. I'll tell you that. I was kind of right about how he has hair, but he keeps it short. I got to, I got to fucking. Sorry to say you're lying. <laughs> I got to shave my head or do something or cut my hair. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking long. You look like a our hair, hair yeah. looks pretty similar. You got you to gotta start cutting it short. Well, I can't. I mean, I guess I could. I cut my own hair for years, so I probably still have the skill set. I guess maybe I'll take a stab at it and see if I can do it. But it's too fucking. Give yourself long dumb now. little haircuts. Yeah. Give yourself a bob. Yeah. <laughs> Just bangs, bangs to here. That would be so awesome. Mm -hmm. Look like Twiggy, dude. She look like that bitch, old British bitch Twiggy. The big eyes. The fashion model. There we go. That's a good look. <laughs> yeah. sort of like a, like a, like a, you know, like kind of like a seventies sort of. No, it's steam, dude. No, I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a great look with the beard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you doing, oh, yeah. brother? <laughs> Welcome to the compound. Welcome to the compound, brother. Welcome to the compound, brother. <laughs> Much love to you. Here's your mandatory firearm. <laughs> <laughs> Join me on the shooting range. <laughs> You're so good to go, bro. You've got mm -hmm. it down. Yeah. Adam, you, you look do. fucked up. You look good. You look like what are you shit. About? You're like Velma from fucking Scooby Doo right now. <laughs> I look like uh almost oh, yeah. here, look, then you you push the hair back from here. <laughs> mm. You look like a lady that works at the bank, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I look like I drive the bus. <laughs> like she trying to play. Stop, play, stop playing on that. It looks like I, I'm on my breath. Yeah. Stop playing on that. Stop playing on that. What you doing is you playing on that. Stop playing on that. It looks like a it looks like your doo-op group just got fucking yeah. taken by uh by Are a you Jewish. On, do you play on that on, at your home? Do you play on that at your home? Well then don't play on it here. <laughs> God damn, that's a great look. <laughs> Don't be playing on that. Nick, you should grow your nails out and look like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> you look like you from someone's office. Stop playing on that. If I have to come back there, it's lights out. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's look. You look good, dude. Thanks, man. Massive respect for that look. You look like Mary J. Blige. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the bit. <laughs> that's good stuff, man. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, okay. make some lunch here because well, I got to make lunch too. Thanks for listening. Um, uh, well, I do. A, I'm doing an advice show on Twitch. If you want to tune in on Fridays at six, go to twitch.tv slash Stavi Baby, and uh, there's a there's a phone there's a number you can call, and I will solve all your problems. As a genius that I am, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for me. Maybe I should and, get some uh, kind of project going. You know? Yeah, dude. I the way I stop, the way that the only thing that's gotten me from not wanting to kill myself twenty four seven is I just plan some activity every day and I just do it and then I go to bed. Maybe I'll start a YouTube account called Jay Leno's Garage and I'll just go bit. and start touching people's cars and making videos of them on the street and pretend like they're my car. I like that. Mm -hmm. Getting yelled at at the end of yeah. every single one. I'm sorry, sir. You're on my new hidden camera show, Jay Leno's Garage. <laughs> Get the hey. fuck off my fucking Beamer. Hey, stop touching my car, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. All right. Well, sorry. yeah. Okay. Bye, Good night. folks. Bye, folks.